I haven't seen Zarif today. He left the house before me. I guess he's at the hospital again. So when he said he wanted to move out by himself, that's where he wanted to go and stay. Zarif is not an unreasonable person. He just needs time to cool off. You heard all those terrible things he said about Zarin. He hates him. He will never forgive him. You still think he can cool off? I don't know what I did wrong in raising my children for them to treat each other this way. I'm sure we'll find a way to work things out. It's easy for you to say. You and Shira have already made up your minds to move out with Khalid. It's not easy for me too, Chi. So when Zarin comes out, the whole family will be staying in three different properties. What kind of family is that? You tell me. Or maybe it's better, is it? So that Khalid won't see everyone fighting all the time. Just like what he saw when Zarif kicking up a fuss about Zarin on Saturday. I have work to do. I'm going to all good. What's the matter with her? What you did to Amina on Saturday, not cool, bro. You stood her up. No, I didn't. I texted her. Look, and... I don't know the details. All I know is she was really looking forward to meeting up with you. Well, I couldn't because I had a family situation, okay? And I've explained everything to her. Not good enough, I suppose. Well, if anything, she's the one who ghosted me. I've been texting her the whole weekend, trying... Clearly, you don't know my sister. What do you mean? If I had to guess, she probably blocked you the second you didn't show up. Without even giving me a chance to explain? That's Amina for you. I see. So the cafe is terminating its lease? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm quite familiar with this area. There used to be a TCM shop at this very spot. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call it healthcare. Interesting you would say that. I actually had an argument with the TCM physician who owned this shop. Typical uncle mentality, very set in his ways. <laughs> Aaron, right, so just send me an email about the details, what the landlord wants and all that. Okay, cool. Thanks. Right, bye. Hey, young man! After so many years, you still haven't changed. Ah? I know Shira refuses to stay in the same house as Zarin. She made it very clear. But how about you? You haven't said anything about it. I know it's hard to keep Zarin and Khalid apart. Even though Shira wants to... Not just that. Khalid deserves to get to know his father. Just like Zarin deserves to get to know his son. I know it's selfish, but I don't want what I have with Khalid right now to change. Whatever Zarin has done, we shouldn't hold it against him. He has paid for it. He has learned his mistakes. It's his right to have a relationship with his son. I'm sorry, Che. I I'm still trying to process this whole thing. No, I'm the one responsible for putting Zarin in prison. You're not the one who put him there. He's the one. He's the one who tried to cheat Shelly Holding's client. Ah, that's not what I mean, Che. He asked me to run away with him and I agreed. I tricked him. How did you feel, actually, when he asked you? I guess it made me feel powerful in a sense. That he wanted to come back to me. Were you tempted to go with him? No. I realised it was only because he wanted an easier life. He was having problems with Shira and he regretted it. Problem is an understatement. Shira was so nasty. She really mellowed a lot over the years. Everything he did was only with himself in mind. He never spared a thought for anyone else. From day one, he took you for granted. I can see that now. I'm so sorry. I never saw it before. It's okay, Chi. We're all in a better place now. I guess the thought of losing you was what made him actually appreciate you. That's what happened for me when Razali attacked you. Razali! Razali's hearing! Zara needs to go to court to testify. No wonder she was so distracted just now. I better see her if she's okay. Go check. Because I overslept on Saturday, I missed the call with my partner. Now, I have to deal with his PA. Okay, but can you go deal with that behind the couch? Mm -hmm. Border, you know, you know when that's in the zone. You know, this is exactly why I always wanted to be my own boss. None of this political nonsense, dealing with people's egos and all that. Ugh, I give up. Hey, she replied. 
can you make it in an hour's time? An hour? That's okay, right? You just have to make your way there since you already prepared all your proposed solutions. No, I haven't. Okay, now I have to find for solutions, change and then go to the office. You know what? If I rush, I can make it in time. What's his deal? I've never seen him so jumpy. It's just the whole fruit engine not being compatible with some software update thingy that's stressing him out. Wish me luck. Good luck. I was talking to Rose just now and remembered that Razali's hearing is on Thursday. Oh, so now you remember. I thought you were so busy with Abang getting released from jail that nothing else matters. Sarah, if you don't talk to me, how do you expect me to help you? Because I don't even know how I need to be helped. Okay? This is the last thing I need right now, Ibu. Okay, my mind is in a mess. We have to go from rushing to pack up the house, to worrying about Abang getting released from jail, to where he's going to stay and who's going to stay with who. And I just have so much work to do that Louis keeps chasing me for. I'm just... I'm just so stressed. Sorry that you felt this way. Then about the hearing, I just... What if I can't face him? Or I freeze or I forget what I'm supposed to say. Just think about all those years you were controlled by him. Uh, how it made you feel. And now you can finally stand up for yourself and make him pay for what he did. You can do it. Thanks, Ibu. Then, what about Abang? Will he be mad? You know, I wasn't even around when he was sentenced. He just wants to look forward and move on with his life and stop thinking about the past. You know, I haven't even had the chance to give him a piece of my mind for what he did to all of you. Your Abang is a changed man. He has learned his lesson. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Means what? You don't want to stay with him in the same house? Until he can prove to you that he's changed? Well, Zarif doesn't. Honestly, Ibu, if it's just you and me, I don't know. I'm not exactly earning a doctor's salary here. But I, I guess I'm open to it. Anyway, I'm not the one that you should be worried about. Rosanani, right? I know. I didn't get the chance to ask her just now again. Well, if Karoj is really against Abang staying with us, then we might just have to say no. So you think just because you want to open a free clinic that you are doing people a big favour? I didn't say that. No, at least you reach people when you are sick, you have the money to pay for your treatment. But poor people cannot. Hence the free and free clinic. You know how many of your so-called uh, Western medicine actually cause more diseases, like cancer? Like I said, show me the signs and I'll believe you. Hey, uh, what signs? Everybody knows. Western medicine only treats the symptoms. Whereas TCM treats the whole body. Uh, since I go. Matthew, <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, uh, I was just passing by. I didn't know he came back to Singapore. I just touched down only. Hey, actually, uh, actually, I Actually, why don't you tell me all about it over lunch? Okay, uh, I have plenty of time. Why not? <laughs> hey, doctor, why don't you join us? We can catch up some more. Ah, uh, no. Hey, uh, come, come, come. We can go and check whether my favourite chicken rice store is still there or not. <laughs> come. I'm guessing he wasn't supportive of your plans to pivot and keep pretend shut today. You know, I'm seriously starting to regret my partnership with Junior Brains. Clearly, we're not on the same page. Kind of like you and your mother. I just feel so caught in between her, Shira and Zarif. You know, on one hand, I can understand where they're coming from. But on the other, when someone's done their time, shouldn't we give them a second chance? 
You know what, try telling that to Shira. No, she's always so extreme in the way she thinks. <laughs> I think she might surprise you. You know, Shira puts up a strong front, but she can be reasoned with. Well, sometimes. I'm mm, sorry if gets his own place, and Garu's and Shira gets theirs. But then it's just me and Ibu. You know, how am I supposed to pay for our household expenses by myself? You know, I don't even know if I can afford Dewey's salary and levy. Okay, anyways, I better get back to the office for a meeting. Uh, I'll see you later, okay? Standard drop already. The, the rice is not fragrant. Well, the old man retired, apparently, and handed over the business to his son some years ago. And that's the problem. Young people think they're so smart. Please tell me you're not trying to relate this back to medicine again. Traditions that work, they don't want to follow. We're always changing this and changing that. Change isn't necessarily a bad thing. But let me ask you a question. Where do you think the world will be right now if not for innovation? The world will be simpler, I tell you. People will be healthier, happier. You no, know, these days, uh, too much time is being spent looking at the handphone. It's bad for the eyes, it's bad for your posture and your mind. And you think TCM can help before this? You see, uh, kids nowadays from two to three years old, they are already playing on the handphone. During my time, only big time businessmen need a handphone. You see, TCM is not just about healing, it's about promoting balance in the body. It is a mindset. Let's just agree to disagree. Hey, wait, I'm not finished yet. Let me tell you why this neighborhood needs a TCM clinic rather than your so-called uh, free Western clinic. Will you at least consider letting him get to know Khalid? If not, at the start or maybe after some time. Maybe you yourself will see that he has changed. Okay, fine. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you very much. But you know, I spoke to Zarin's caseworker about this over the weekend. She told me that for people to have the best chance of turning over a new leaf, actually stability and family support is the most important thing. I agree. You're his family, right? So by all means, go and support him. But please leave me out of it. Now, if there's really nothing else, I really should get on with my work. Okay. I won't disturb you. Thank you. Scientific investigation has not found any physiological evidence for TCM concepts such as T, meridians and acupuncture points. <laughs> yeah, of course, they say that. They want your money only. Scientists earn nothing from the research that they do. They're just doing it for the sake of advancing knowledge in the global community. I don't need any scientists uh, to prove something to know that I'm right. Oh yeah, Sinsego. I thought you were enjoying life in Switzerland with your family. How come you decided to come back? Uh, I'm back for a short trip only. Anyway, you haven't told me why Ayub was supposed to marry one fella and then ended up marrying another fella. Not awkward, man. Of course not. I mean, we're friends after all. It's not like I held it against you. Even though at the start, you clearly stated your intentions to keep pursuing your while we were together. And I didn't take any issue with your wanting to be with you, even though it was obvious that she had feelings for me first. And that's why it was so noble of you to admit that you were willing to give her up at the start. I'm sure you can take a break for a few minutes. No, Ibu, I can't. I have two papers to write, three surgical procedures to read up on, and a consultation that starts five minutes ago. I'm not going anywhere until I talk to you. Prison or not, I just don't believe that people can change. Look, I'm sure your cousin is a great guy and all. <laughs> don't worry about it. I mean, you're not the first person to feel that way. But the fact that people do hold opinions like this makes it difficult for people like Ajay and Zarin to get back on their feet once they are released. That's why support is important. That's exactly what Adina said. Look, I know you think you're protecting Khalid by keeping him away from Zarin, but what makes you think that he would not benefit from a father figure in his life? Yeah, Nikki has Ananya, sure, but she's no replacement for Diana. It's not just Khalid that I'm concerned about. What about Rose? I mean, 
So Arvind doesn't know about the relationship to Khalid? Actually, he does. At one point, he agreed to let her adopt him. But what if Zarin's had a change of heart while he was inside and wants to be a big part of Khalid's life now? I just can't do that to Rose. Not after everything she has sacrificed for Khalid and for the family. So, what does Rose feel about Zarin moving back with the family? She hasn't said anything about how she feels. But I'm sure she'll do the right thing for Khalid. Typical self-sacrificing Rose. Even if it means that she has to scale back on her involvement in Khalid's life. I must say, it's really sweet how loyal you are to Rostani. Shut up. You should come over sometime. Yeah, and yeah. get to know Khalid. He's such an adorable kid. <laughs> Ibu, why are you still here? Zarif, your mother was just telling me all about Shira's marriage to your abang. Uh, I can't believe he was in jail. Oh, well, not for much longer, of course. He will be released soon, uh, and the whole family can be together again. Sorry, please excuse us. Ibu, why did you go and tell him about abang's life story? Why? He's Shira's brother and Khalid's uncle. He deserves to know. Ibu, he can't be trusted. What's the matter with all of you? Not only you don't want Khalid to have a father, you also don't want him to have an uncle also, is it? I'm just thankful that after all we've been through, there's no hard feelings between us. Absolutely. None at all. Well, uh, it's nice catching up with you both. Um, it's time for me to check into my hotel. I think I'll call them. Sensei Go. Uh, Sensei Go, you drop this. Oh. Based on what I just saw, he might need company. Don't let him stay at the hotel on his own. No way, it's a number. Sensei. Sensei, don't bother about the hotel. Uh, why don't you come and stay with Yoke and I? No, it's okay. I already booked. You haven't paid, right? Uh, come on, I'm sure Yoke will be looking forward to catch up with you. Why are you so hung up on Khalid having a father anyway? I didn't have one and I turned out fine. That's what you think. But I know that you weren't fine. At night, you would cry for your papa, asking where is he? Why did he go? Well, that's normal. Because at least I grew up knowing him. But for Khalid, it's different. He has no idea who Abang even is. You've forgotten, is it? How much Abang doted on Khalid when he was a baby? So much so that he wanted to abandon him and run away with Cut Rose. I remember that. Zarev, I know that you are still very resentful towards your abang. Don't bother to deny it, okay? Otherwise, you won't hide all the letters that he wrote to me. But please, Zarev, put yourself in my shoes. I don't know how many good years I have left. Who knows? It may even be months. All I want is for my family to be together, rather than split out. Can you just put your feelings about your abang aside? Will you do that for me? Based on my projections of our household expenses over the next two years, I'm doing a spreadsheet which simulates 50 different scenarios based on the price we get for a house. I thought the listing just went live. In life, you have to plan for contingencies, Nathan. If you fail to plan, you're a goner. If you write an app and you fail to future-proof it by making sure that you have built in enough future-forward compatibilities, you're a goner. If you're trying to sell your house but you're alienating potential buyers because your price is too high... Let me guess, you're a goner? It's the agent. What's all the shouting about? He just got owned on Battle Star Mayhem. I thought I'd better give you a heads up that Ibu had a nice long chat with Ashraf at the hospital today. She pretty much told him everything there is to know about Abang. That you guys were married, that he's been in jail and getting released soon. Great. That's the last thing I need right now, my stupid brother knowing more about my life. Why are you telling me this anyway? 
I know the prospect of having my abang back in our lives is sucky, but he means a lot to my ibu. And it's stressing her out. I know we both had the idea to move out if my abang is staying with them, but I think we both also know that Carlos probably isn't in favour of that option. She will choose what's best for Khalid every time, even at the expense of herself. I know. She's done a lot for this family. I mean, she could be running her own restaurant in Paris right now, but she chose to stay. She chose us. And that's what I think, no matter what happens, we should support her. Shocking. We found something we can actually agree on. Especially when my abang comes back. Who knows? He might make her feel like an outsider again. If he dares to do that, I make him wish he was back in jail. Everyone, um, I've got something to say. I've been thinking long and hard about our situation um, and what would be the best for Zarin when he is released. I think we should all stay together so that Khalid can get to know his ayah. Thank you, Rose. But as we know, the rest have different plans. I want what's best for Khalid as well. So whatever Rose has decided, I will support her. As for me, I have decided to stay as well. So that there's somebody to keep Abang in check. <laughs> okay, I'm just glad that all of you will still be around. I mean, the house will be way too quiet with just Ibu and I staying in it. They'll probably drive each other up the wall. <laughs> what if my Aya doesn't like me? I need to give you more eggs, okay? Share is done with me. But don't walk away and let me be. I've seen you before. Morning, Sensei Go. Uh, morning. Sensei Go? From home, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, I also did not forget you. What is happening, Matthew? Oh, I invited him to stay over with us for a few days. Without consulting us? Well, it was late by the time we arrived home last night. Could have called. Uh, I hope it's not inconvenient. No, not inconvenient. In fact, curiously convenient. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Sensei, join us for breakfast. Yeah. Hey, where's Sajo? I should be out after a shower.